Hi folks, the internet is a wonderful resource for you when you're doing your research as there's a lot of material out there. But now and again, we'll hit a problem. Let me demonstrate. Here I've been reading an article on Marina Abramovich and in the citations there's a reference to Andy Warhol shadows. So I copy the link that's here, I paste it in, and I get, oh dear, page not found. Sometimes you'll see a message that says 404 error. That's the same thing. It means that the page no longer exists on that website. This happens because websites are updated continuously, and so pages are moved or simply deleted altogether. So what do you do when you come across something like that? Well, you can go to the Internet Archive at archive.org and paste the web address into the Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine is a web archive which trawls the Internet, saving web pages. You can see that the last time from these days that this page existed on the website was in 2009. Now, if we click on the pages here, on the dates below in the calendar, and then on the time, this will take us to what was then on the website at that time. And we can see that there's some details about the works and an essay. Now, if I click on the essay, link. We now have the essay that I can now read. If I go back, I can look at exhibition images, which pops up in this case in a separate box. So this is how I can find material that no longer exists on the internet. Now it can be hit and miss. The Wayback Machine doesn't always capture everything. And sometimes websites will set up in their metadata instructions to prevent the Wayback Machine from archiving their web pages. But it's always worth a try to see if you can locate this particular page. Now you would have noticed before when I first came into this page, I got this. This is because on my installation of Firefox, I have an extension added, which is for the Internet Archive. And I can click on here to see the archive version of this page. This is a handy thing to have into, in your web browsers. So you simply go to the extensions for Firefox in this case, or Chrome if you're using Chrome, search for Wayback Machine and add it to your toolbar. A handy tip as well if you are concerned that uh, pages may disappear is you have another extension which is archive the current URL and this will save the page to the Internet Archive. It's a very handy thing to do and I've done this for all of the references in my PhD thesis. It means that I can be certain that if somebody reads my thesis in a few years, the links will not have disappeared because there will be archived copies sitting there on the internet. There are other web archives and on the library research guide you'll see I've given you some details about that, such as Pandora from the National Library of Australia, which you can find through Trove, and it focuses on Australian websites. Uh, they also have an Australian government web archive. So have fun with all of this. I hope you found that useful.